Where... where'd it go? I lost it. Oh, shit. Shit, fuck, we had it! All right. It's all right. It doesn't matter. We know what it looks like. It won't get far. Shit hot tip you gave me, sent me back a week's wages, baby. <laughs> Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Won't regret this. What is your problem? Won't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. Now that we're partners, I... I thought it would be a good idea to get to know each other better so we can work as a team. We are not partners. I am a human. You are a machine. So just spare me that buddy of bullshit program, okay? There you go. that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. Proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet. Yeah. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, 
A deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I'm focused on the case, Lieutenant. The rest doesn't concern me. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to CyberLife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna... We need more cops. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Wish I could do that. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. Looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone.
Found something? I don't know. Oh. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. RT. Probably initials. You put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Books. I thought I was the last guy who tried to keep some. Uh, electronic books, you can't smell the paper. See the pages turning yellow. You have no idea. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Seed. Any idea what it means? RA-9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something.
I lost it. Oh, shit. Shit, fuck, we had it! All right. It's all right. It doesn't matter. We know what it looks like. It won't get far. Come on, let's get out of here. Seen enough vegetables for one day. That shouldn't have happened. I wasn't programmed to fail. Oh, well, you fucked up, Connor. Welcome to the club. <laughs>